A crop nearly 10 months in the making spanning all four seasons, harvested all at once at the exact right time for an epic midsummer yield. Only now, we're left with so much garlic, we couldn't possibly use it all right away. Hi, I'm Jeff from the Ripe Tomato Farms. Welcome to another episode of the Garden Quickie, the show where in two minutes or less, there's simply no such thing as too much garlic. And today's episode is all about that garlic. More specifically, how to cure our harvested garlic for maximum storage so that none of it goes to waste. Hey, time short as you know it is, so let's dive in. When garlic is harvested properly, at the right time, those outer leaves are allowed to dry off and form a protective sheath around the bulb. If done correctly, this is half the work for curing garlic already done. As long as you time your garlic harvest when one half to two thirds of the foliage has turned brown and crispy, storing your garlic long term is super easy. First, make sure to harvest with care. Damaged or broken bulbs will not store, so don't even try. Further to that, we leave the plants whole. In fact, we don't even clean them at this time. Leave all those roots, dead shoots, and even the dirt on them. We'll deal with that stuff later. Your main objective right now is to hang them in a cool, dry location for around two to four weeks. I always do it for at least four weeks because I find the drier the better. Now, make sure to hang them bulb side down just in case the stems and foliage want to drain down any goodness back to the bulbs. Once you're certain those bulbs are fully dry, all that we have left to do is clean them. This is a three-step process and it's really simple. First, trim off those roots right back to the base of the bulb. Next, cut off that stem to about an inch in length. And finally, peel off the dirty outermost papery coating revealing the gem of a garlic bulb inside. Sometimes you do need to remove two of them, but no more. All we want to do is remove the dirt. And that's it. Kept in a cool, dry place, your garlic is going to store this way for up to six plus months. Easy. Almost as easy as subscribing and checking out the next episode of the Garden Quickie. Thanks for watching, guys. And hey, if Garden Quickies are your thing, Make sure to subscribe and click on this playlist here as we explore and solve more growing issues in two minutes or less.